In this part of the Google Sheets data validation course, we are going to look at data validation dates. So using the date data validation is probably one of the most common uses for data validation. So let's get cracking. In our cell A2, we've got enter a valid date. Over here with our data validation, we can put it in our date here. So let's try today's date, which is the 23rd of Jan 2021. So I'll whack that in and it comes up 23rd of Jan 2021. You'll be surprised to note that we can also add a different type of date entry. So if I type in uh, the 23rd backslash 01 backslash 2021, for example, it'll also come up with the date. If I type in the 12th of March 21, it'll come up with the date. Or if I type in something like 01-01-2001, it'll also come up with the date. Funnily enough, it keeps converting back to a number and then the month as a three letter character code and then the year as a whole four digit number. Why is it doing this? Simply because we've changed the format. So if we click on here, I went to format, I went down to numbers, all the way down to more formats and, and selected more dates and time formats. And as you can see here, I've got day, month and year. I could remove one of these just to display the month or I could change this around to show the entire month if I wished and hit applied. If I go back now and change the month, no worries, I could go 13th backslash 04 hit enter, and it'll come up with the new format that we've assigned to it. Now, another really cool part about data validation is that it comes up with a handy date picker. So if you double click on this, you can see that there's a great date picker here that you can go through and select your assigned date. The only problem is, is that your users don't often pick it up. So what you can do to make them aware of it is that you can click on the cell or click on the header up here, but we'll click on the cell this time, right click and go down to where it says insert note and you can say double click for date picker. Now when your users hover over this, it'll come up with the note, double click for date picker and the validation rule. Pretty cool, hey? So let's see how we did this in the back end. Click on the cell, right click, scroll down to the bottom, data validation, and we've got date. That's the criteria we've selected and is valid date. That's all you need to know. We've rejected the input and we've showed the validation help and we hit save. Cool, let's move on to the next one. Enter a date equal to the 10th of January, 2021. So this is a pretty strict rule. And to be honest, I don't find too much of a use for it. If you found a really good use for it, please mention it in the comments below to share, but we'll go through it anyway. For the 10th of January, 2021, if I type in a different format, so 10th, 01, 21, that comes up with our desired format, which we must have formatted earlier. If I type in something different, so if I type in uh, 09 Feb 2020, it'll come up with the error because it's obviously not equal to 10th of January 2021. Looking at the back end here, right clicking and scrolling down to data validation, we can see we chose a criteria date and made it equal to, and then the month. Let's hit save. Okay. In our next example, we have enter a date before the 10th 2020, which is October 2020. Here we haven't actually put in the first date, but that's totally fine. We've got a little sneaky rule in the background to help us out here. So let's give it a test run. So if I type in the 10th of October, which is 10 and 2020, what do you think is going to happen? Will it be an error or will it be okay? Let's hit enter. Ah, there's an error. So just like in numbers where we had greater to or less than, um, the date has to be before, but not including. Okay, so let's try something else. If we say 21st of Jan, 2000, it's happy with that one, obviously because it's less than this date here. Let's check out the back end. So click on the cell, right click down to data validation. We've got date and we've got before here and our date is the 1st of the 10th, 2020. So all we've done really is to say anything before the uh, 1st of the 10th, it's okay to add a date in. And then our little rule here is 10th, 2020. Now, this is kind of okay, but I do recommend you adding in uh, 01 and a backslash for your users. So the next one is enter a date on or before the year 2000. Cool, 
I, you might be inclined just to say 2000 and hit enter. And that works perfectly fine. If I say 1000, that works as well. If I type in 2001, I get the same. So what's going on here? Hang on, what about if I type in 2012? No, oh, that's coming up too. That's a bit weird, isn't it? What is actually happening is um, there's a special background code that we can, can be used to creating dates in Google Sheets, and it's trying to read that instead of the actual date. What we do need to do is to add in the correct date. So if we put in, for example, 09 backslash uh, 2001, we'll get an error because that is not for the date 2000. And if we typed in a normal date, so we said the 19th of Feb, 2000 what's going to happen will it uh, flag or will it be okay well it's perfectly fine because the date is on or before 2000 so to make it a bit clearer let's have a look at what's going on in the background right click down to data validation so we've got date on or before and we've got a sneaky little date here that says 31st of the 12th 2000 so this means any date on 31st of the 12th 2000 all the way back is perfectly fine for you to enter because we've only got 2000 here, your users are probably inclined to just to type in the four digit number, which is going to cause those errors that we saw occur before. So to fix that, you're probably better off asking them to put in the entire date. So we could say the uh, just the 12th like this, or ask them to put in the 31st of the 12th like this, and then you won't have any errors. Let's hit save, and we're good to go. Now our data validation rule is a little bit more clearer. All right, next one, enter a date after the 5th of June, 2021. So this is just like this, enter a date before the 10th, 2021. It won't include this date, but anything after it is okay. So we can go 04, Jan 20, 2021, obviously an error. Uh, we can go 05, which will be an error. So 0121, but if we hit the next day, 06, 01, Two, one, we're rock and roll. So looking at that, right click down to data validation and we've just clicked after. Our next one is going to be on or after. What do you think is going to happen with that date then? That's right, you can use the 5th of January using on or after, let's have a look. So we'll exit out of that. So enter a date on or after the 5th of Jan 2021. Cool bananas, so we can go 05 Jan 20221. We're hunky dory there because it's including that date. If we go anywhere before, if we go the 1st of Jan uh, 2000, of course it's going to be an error before, and any time after, so uh, 10th of Feb 3001, whew, way in the future, that's going to be fine too. All right, now this 3001 is a bit weird. If you saw that in your sheets from your, from your staff, you'd probably be raising a few little warning lights. So we can actually put our dates within a bracket. Let's see how that works. So enter a date between the 1st of January 2020 and the 2nd of Feb 2021. We can do that. Do you think that's going to include the 1st of January or do you think it won't include it? Let's have a look. So let's go 0120. Ah, it includes it. So yes, it includes the first date and also includes the uh, last date as well. So if we put in something in the following year or at the end of the year, so we could say the 23rd of December 2020, will be good. If we change that to 2021, that will give us an error because it's not within that range. Looking at the back end, so right click down the data validation, we can see that we've added date, we've chosen between and uh, 1st of Jan 2020 and then the 2nd of Feb 2021 here and added our rules in as so. One good thing to note from all these, not only does the enter valid date have the date picker, but all these other ones do as well. So if I double click on this, your users can still pick a date within that range. Cool, moving on. Obviously the antithesis of date between is not between. And so if we put uh, anything not between that date, so if we said 2nd of Jan, because we're bad boys 2020, we're gonna get in trouble again because it's not the correct date. But if we put in something like the 31st of December 2019, then it will happily accept the date because it's not between that range. Finally, our last thing to double check, we'll scroll down, data validation, and we've just chosen not between and selected our dates here.
Okay, that's all there is for dates with data validation in Google Sheets. In the next tutorial, we are going to start to explore the world of custom formulas with data validation. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.